Hey what's up guys it's Brain CCZ and welcome back to another Rise of Kingdoms video and in today's video we are going to be talking about the gift that I received in Rise of Kingdoms. So if you guys are new here then make sure to subscribe because I make daily Rise of Kingdoms videos and as you guys can see I'm back to my face cam videos. I'm only going to be doing the non face cam videos sometimes because sometimes it just fits the style of video and of course I'm going to be keeping this samurai up here because I think it's pretty cool and it says subscribe which you guys should do so um if you guys um also you guys should also leave a like and um i'm going to be doing kvk on this account in not that long because um we are on the last stage which only has a day and five hours left so i'm excited to be doing that and also i also have a few lost kingdom videos from my alt account that I have in the Lost Kingdom and I also did some reviews on some of the structures so if you guys want to check that out you guys can but we are going to be getting right into this video so as you guys can see our king is Uzi um I think that's how you say his name that's how I've been saying it this whole time so um I hope I haven't been saying it wrong but he is our king and from the gifts um you I don't know how often you're able to give these out but these are the amount you can give and it also shows the records of who got it. And I think he goes by every single alliance and distributes them evenly through the most important people that are in that alliance. So I think he went by each going down each alliance and then the alliance leader got the um, legendary trophy. And then the two most important people got the epic ones. And then some of the, um, and as it, sees, and it says on these, it pretty much accurately describes what each of them does wait if i correct the information one i haven't clicked this but um oh uh, yeah i think i've already talked about all this um so uh as it says only the king will only the king's most dedicated warriors are worthy of being called legendary so that is as it seems um not as it seems but that is how the legendary trophy is distributed and as you can see from the records my line seer was given it to us and then the epic trophies, you have achieved something truly epic. <laughs> okay, um, uh, yeah, so then our two most, one of our most important peoples in our alliance, uh, C-Cap, JB, also Lady Chili, also known as my mom of the alliance, uh, she is, they, them two both got the epic trophies, and then the elite ones, where the king's will that is where it goes and this is the one where i got so as you can see in the records only five people can get this one and i actually feel very honored and flattered that i actually got one of these because there's a lot of people in my alliance that have gotten chosen and not that other people aren't that aren't as good as me and i'm not saying that but i'm just i think it's awesome that i got one of these out of the other people that could have um, but of course, some of the other important, very active Alliance members also got these. I think these also might have been distributed based on the activity of, um, Alliance members. Because I know if you're a leader or an R4, you can see, um, who is the most active. So I think these are the people that are one of, like, the most active. Because I am very active. I, I play all the time. Also, um, the Silk Road Spectators is starting in, like, 15 minutes. So I'm going to be doing a video on that right after this one. So make sure to subscribe because that video will probably be coming out tomorrow. I think so um, you guys can definitely check that out because I think it'll be pretty cool because we're going to be doing the hell mode um, for Silk Road Spectators which is pretty epic. And then um, also these ones, even ordinary heroes fight v uh, valiantly. The, they are the cornerstones of a great kingdom. So these can give you can give 10 to these and as it shows over here um these are some of the people that also gotten it and also i actually saved my um elite trophy and i'm going to be opening it and showing you guys what it is what it contains so i'm actually i got this about last night uh it was it was quite a while it was like it was like 12 hours ago about well, not 12 hours it was probably a little bit more than that but i received it um about yesterday so I'm gonna be opening it and we'll be seeing <laughs> we'll be seeing what's inside of it so I'm pretty excited let's use it okay that's pretty good we got 15 hours of speed ups and we got one silver key 500 gems um, 1 million gold and a gathering enhancement eight hours 
A, which is pretty trash, because if you guys look, I have um, 237 of these um, just by buying it from the corner station every single time. But I've stopped buying these because, like, for, like, the wood, not, I don't use it with gems, but, like, you can use it for resources. But I've stopped doing it because I know I already have enough to pretty much fit me for the rest of the game, so I don't need to anymore. But, yeah, so these are, yeah, so I already have a lot of these. But that's pretty cool. I got some extra gems, and um, I'm pretty happy with that. So if you guys enjoyed this video, then make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you guys are new here. And um, make sure to tell me in the comments if you, guys, if you guys have ever gotten one of these. And if you guys enjoyed this video, then make sure to also tell me in the comments. And um, if you guys enjoy my face cam videos better, I know Technical Gamer, you specifically like my um, face cam videos better. You made sure to tell me that, so you were pretty worried in the last in the last few, like how, my first face cam video. You were pretty worried that I was gonna stop doing face cams, but don't worry, I'm gonna keep doing face cams. Just sometimes I don't want to do a face cam because it's more fit for people that are new to my channel, and it I feel like it fits better. So um, that'll be it for me today. Make sh um, and I'll be making more daily videos for Rise of Kingdoms because I just got into summer, so. Um, that's pretty awesome because I'll probably be making daily videos back again, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.